Happy December, Sockers. In case you want to see what New York looks like in uh, the Yuletide. Look, snow, snow. Production value, production value. Production value, production value. New York City, production value. I am back at Anthology Film Archives uh, in a little less than a month, I think, right? It was just two weeks ago for the Dark Harper series. Tonight I'm here to watch a restored version of Lois Weber's The Dumb Girl of Portici from 1916, yay, a hundred years ago. Now, if you don't know who Lois Weber is, you should, because before the glass ceiling emerged in Hollywood, sometime around the 19... sometime around the post-World War I era, in 1920 and 21, uh, when women were then resigned to every other department in Hollywood except for the director's chair. Lois Weber uh, was arguably uh, one of the, she, not arguably, she was one of the most prolific filmmakers of that period. She was a writer, director, she started out as a screen actress and then started her own production company. She was Universal Pictures' biggest money maker for the teens. Not her teens, our teens, the 19 teens. Um, uh, so she's on a level with uh, C.B. DeMille, uh, she's on a level with D.W. Griffith. Uh, sadly, most of her work doesn't survive. It's, it's largely on the lost list to this day. Uh, but more of these films are being discovered, and more of them are being uh, restored. And tonight's restoration comes courtesy of the Library of Congress. None other than our own government has restored this movie. Uh, with an assist from Milestone Films, which is also what had been largely responsible for the Mary Pickford catalog until recently. I hope they get it back. Uh, but they did a cleanup of this movie tonight, and it's, uh, it hasn't been seen, and it's, this is the closest that it's going to be seen since its original, uh, since its original run in 1916, hundred years ago. Uh, I'm really excited to see this movie. It's also the only screen appearance of Russian prima ballerina Anna Pavlova. So there's a lot going on in this film tonight, but mostly it's just a celebration of women in film. Uh, so I'll be back as usual after the movie to discuss what I've seen, and uh, yeah, you can look forward to that. And Christmas. Win-win. This is Joe Walsh from My Trade Stock. Stay in stick with me. Stockers.